there's a strike. What do you do? Well, if you're new, you think, well, there's a strike. Maybe there's nothing I can do. I just got to sit around and wait. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, there are so many things that you can do during the strike. Uh, first of all, not every production is halted, but most of a lot of the Screen Actors Guild, uh, uh, SAG-AFTRA on strike, uh, Writers Guild on strike. However, and there is a list down below of uh, other things you can do. Um, you know, if you've been doing this a while, you may not want to do student films and all that. But if you're new, if you're a beginner or if you are an intermediate and you're looking to stay sharp, then by all means, uh, student films are still fine to do. And there's a lot of other productions. And like I said, I've listed them below. One of them, and this is big, is um, commercials. You can still do commercials during the strike. Now, commercials it used to be years ago, uh, you know, oh, well, I do commercials, I'll dabble in commercials and all that. It's a totally different animal now. Everyone's doing commercials. Uh, you watch commercials, you've seen, um, you know, all the celebrities are doing commercials. And that's not to say that's the thing to do now because they're doing it. It's just one thing you can do during the strike. Here's the, here's the real uh, interesting thing about this, is most actors are taking their foot off the gas right now. They are relaxing. They're like, well, there's a strike. I'm not getting any auditions. I'm not going to submit for any because I don't really know what to submit for, or who's going to do what, or I don't want to spend the time, whatever. There's other things you can do. When you take your foot off the gas, let's say the strike goes for three months or even a month or six months, whatever that time frame. Can you imagine if you don't do anything for the next three months and then the strike is done and you have an audition and it's a self tape and you have to do it and it's due tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. uh, what are you going to do? Uh, you're going to be rusty as you could possibly be, and I do not give you a lot of hope uh, doing a self-tape audition after three months off or six months off, even a month off. So what you can do, and I know this seems like common sense, and a lot of stuff that I say seems like common sense, but I will, I will guarantee you that if I took a poll of everyone who watched my videos and said, hey, did you do this thing or that thing? They go, oh, no, I saw you said to do it, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I was, uh, uh, no, no, don't, no excuses. You know, I'm giving you really great advice on what to do to keep your instrument sharp and give you an unfair advantage over the other actors when the strike ends. So, um, that said, Take classes, and uh, I've preached about this for a long time, taking classes, taking workshops. Uh, now is a great time to do it. Listen, any time is a great time to do it. But now especially is a great time to take classes, take workshops, um, try new classes. You know, uh, take a dance class, take a voice class, uh, take an improv class. Improv classes are fantastic. Uh, even take a stand-up comedy class. Uh, all those classes are great. If you were thinking, I'll, I'll take one of those, you know, one of these days, it's one of these days. And so um, that is one thing that you can do uh, to sh keep your instrument sharp is to take workshops and to take classes and take new classes. Um, you know, the other thing you can do, and this is exercising your um, creative muscle, and that is uh, write your own material. Um, listen, we have to start creating our own material. If you don't have a good reel, if you don't have a, a, a great material in your arsenal to show, uh, if you're trying to get an agent or switching agents or you're auditioning for something and you want to show a casting director uh, your talents, and they say, well, let me see a reel. And if you don't have a good reel and you show them a mediocre reel, they're going to remember that uh, as much as they're going to remember a great reel. And so how do you get a good reel? And I don't want to go off the, off the topic, 
But these are things you can do during the strike. Uh, and that is uh, work on your reel, you know, uh, make your reel better. And that, and if you wait until you book a guest star, a co-star, or, you know, any kind of star on a TV show uh, or a series, a film, uh, and then you wait for them to put it out or wait for the editor to get done chopping it up, uh, trust me when I tell you, you're going to be wildly disappointed uh, with the material you get. Um, it's never it's never what it should be. It's never enough. Uh, there's never a close up on you. Not never. There's rarely a close up on you. And if there is, it's like that fast and then it's gone. But if you write and shoot and produce your own material, you dictate how long the camera stays on you. You dictate how many takes you have. You dictate everything about it. Didn't like this one. Want to do it better. Didn't have my moment before. Didn't have this. Didn't have that. Do it over. Hit delete. Press record. Do it again. Hit delete. That's how you get better material. Um, so write your own material. That's another thing you can do during the strike. Write and shoot and produce um, your own material. Now, you think, gosh, I'm a one-man band. What do I, how do I do this? I have a camera that's okay, or I have a phone. You can shoot stuff on your phone. In fact, I'm going to show you, I, I saw on Instagram the other day, this woman uh, who shot this. It was a really interesting scene, and she shot it on her phone in her bathroom, and then she did a voiceover about it. It was about mental health or mental illness, um, a depression, and it was, it was stunning. All you can think about is how life has always been this way. The other thing about depression is it kind of collapses time. Suddenly, you find your whole days blending together to create one endless and suffocating loop. And eventually, all you can think about is how life has always been this way. And she did it by herself in her bathroom with her iPhone. So you have stuff that you can shoot with. Um, now, that said, Make sure your final product, if you're working on your reel, is the production value is good because you don't want to put crap out there because they'll remember that as well. So you think, well, I, you know, it'd be great if I had someone to help me. Here's another thing you can do during the strike. Form a group. Uh, you know, there's people on Facebook. There's people on Instagram. There's people everywhere. Maybe in your class, if you're taking a class right now, is form a group of like-minded actors, uh, filmmakers, uh, you know, um, an admin group would be good right now. Uh, an admin group, administration group would be uh, good to join or form right now so that you guys can keep yourselves accountable as far as, oh, when's the last time you did your headshots? When's the last time you improved your reel? You know, have you read any scripts lately? You know, you can get together uh, when you form groups and you could read scripts together. You could do uh, script analysis together. Uh, you could break down characters. There's just so many different things that you can do. Um, you can form a self-tape group. Uh, and that is, uh, you know, wildly helpful. Uh, imagine you formed a self-tape group during the strike and you guys worked on self-tapes three times a week. And then a month goes by. Uh, two months goes by and you've been doing self tapes in your self tape group for the last three months, three times a week. You've gotten pretty good at this. Then the strike ends and there's an audition and there's 40 actors out for this thing. And they've been sitting around on the couch catching up on, you know, The Walking Dead or whatever. And you've been doing uh, self tapes in a self tape group. Guess who's going to have an unfair advantage for that audition? you are. You're going to have the advantage because you've been doing it and you're sharp and you're ready. So uh, form groups, admin groups, self-tape groups, reading groups, you know, uh, script groups, uh, any kind of groups. Uh, it also <clears throat> helps you to keep your creative juices flowing and keep your enthusiasm up while all this is going on. Um, you know, there's, again, there's so many things that you can do during the strike. You can volunteer. You can volunteer at, you know, at a theater uh, or any sort of theater events. 
uh, any sort of festivals, if there's any festivals going on, uh, you know, uh, volunteer there. Um, networking events, those still are going on. I went to one three, three or four weeks ago. I went to a networking event uh, in Hollywood and uh, it was great. There was a bunch of actors there and they were all, you know, they all wanted information. They're all looking for what's going on and they are all super nice and super friendly. And there were uh, some playwrights there. There was uh, a couple of editors there. Um, there was uh, two directors were there. So, you know, you're interacting and you're networking with people who want to network and want to create uh, their own material. It's all headed that way anyhow. And so uh, you should be doing uh, all of those things. Um, during the strike, another thing you can do is uh, other art, another outlet. I'm a photographer and so I love photography. I love videography. And so uh, dive into photography, art, painting, um, music, anything art-based that will give you that extra creative outlet. Uh, it's a nice distraction while you're uh, waiting for the strike to end. Um, you can also uh, read scripts. Uh, you can download scripts. There's uh, all kinds of resources and reading scripts and breaking them down. I've been watching a lot of uh, Anthony Hopkins videos, uh, you know, just interviews with him. Uh, that's another great thing, man. There's just, there is so much information out there. Uh, and Anthony Hopkins is just such a brilliant actor and he's got so many insights over the years. And just even watching those videos and, and listening to him talk about his process and, and what he's learned over the years, man, uh, you can't, I mean, it's, you can't get better advice than that. Uh, and take it because uh, these guys know and you know, obviously he's wildly successful and uh, Yeah, any of that kind of stuff is just is is fantastic um, You also should take care of your body uh, And I know that again, th these are all things uh, That you can do during the strike that seem obvious, but you know keep a workout regimen and stay in shape um, you know it anything to keep your mind going and, and take your mind off of uh, of what's going on but you know staying in shape physically mentally read more books um, and listen I'm telling you all these things to do during the strike uh, these are these are things <clears throat> these are things that you could would and should be doing regardless of the strike uh, but I know it, it's strike season and so uh, we're talking about that um and and it's listen these are all things that you should be doing um i know most of you are probably not doing them but if you do do them uh you will become a better and more valuable actor um take this time during the strike to catch up with friends and family you know listen physical health is good mental health is good too uh and I, i'm not saying put the pedal down and just grind and grind and grind for a you know, undefinite number of days until the strike ends, because you do need to relax and, and to uh, reboot, um, you know, uh, go to the beach, catch up with friends and family, and just sort of decompress is also a nice thing to do. Those are a few things that you can do during the strike. Uh, I will have more videos on the strike uh, as it unfolds. All right.